What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 5 of my lower league management series in Football Manager 2017 with Maidenhead United. So coming off the previous episode where we did end up playing those two FA Cup games, uh, drawing at home but then able to get the victory away from home, uh, was happy with that because you know, yeah, we're going to play this game today against Western Supermare in the first round of the FA Cup at home. Uh, we've beat them already this season and there's a chance to get that 18k. That will be massive for us right now if we quickly check out our overall balance. It's just over 3k, so not too bad. At least we're not in the red. Uh, I suppose we have a loss for the season, which you can see is about 24k, so a win here will be very, very good. And you do see that we have a FA Trophy game. Uh, we're going to be playing that against Bowers and Pitsy, but they're a team with like all grayed out players. So as I mentioned previously, early rounds of these cups now, I will play off camera until we have like a really big game. Uh, yeah, just it really depends. There's no set rule, so I don't want you to say, you said this last time, why didn't you do that? It's just, yeah, depending on how many games I think I should play. Uh, so it's like a case-by-case uh, kind of basis. But after those two wins, we struggled a bit. Against Hungerford, I thought, yeah, judging off their name, I didn't really... Well, to be fair, I don't know a lot of teams in these leagues. But, yeah, they're 16th. Um, but I have played these saves in previous years. I, like other teams like Bishop Stortford, Hampton and Richmond, Hazen Yetting, Welling, all these teams I've heard of before. There's a few that I haven't. And even East Thurrock, uh, we... Drew against them away from home, and they're 21st. So, yeah, I think they're newly promoted team. But uh, I'm disappointed that we didn't beat them. Uh, so a couple of rough games there. But we're going to head straight into the FA Cup first round. And if we manage to win, or if we lose, disappointingly, uh, I'll play Bath as well, Bath City. That should be exciting because there may be a replay if we draw again. So we'll just have to see how that plays out. There's something else I want to mention. We'll just uh, get into the team first. We don't have too much problems in terms of selection, which is good, well, apart from yeah Christian Smith. But we're going to get into the match preview. But the good thing is we've been unbeaten. But maybe to be expected, because Maidenhead are uh, top of the league in real life last time I checked, so that's all right. But there's something I wanted to mention. I think someone pointed out that my players that aren't selected part of the match day squad, like on the reserves or the substitutes and the, f the starting 11, uh, they're not 100% like match fit. I don't think I've ever had every single player 100% and 100% condition, like even players starting. I think some people like OCD about that. Like you must have every single player fit or yeah, you, they can't be in your team or something. But yeah, I always, or most of the time, I have them selected for reserve games. Um, not right now, though, what I'm going to talk about. Um, you can see under 23's fixtures, they just have their games here. But as you can notice, sometimes they're every couple weeks. So there's a fair break between and they're not doing too well because we don't have many players there. But if you go into the staff and into the responsibilities under 23's, I've selected the team management uh, team manager, I should say, to arrange friendly matches. So I just selected assistant manager, Brita Hangelands, and to arrange a friendly every week. So they should do that from now on, and there shouldn't be any problems. But uh, yeah, I think some people, are, like I was suggested, I don't really know, to not have any reserves at all. If a player's not in the substitutes, they shouldn't even be shown here. I, I don't really get that because I've always... That's just how I play. That's almost just like a preferencing how you play football manager. But yeah, like I said, um, a lot of the time when a player needs match sharpness and in previous years, <laughs> match fitness, I would have them selected for the reserves or under 23s until they're match fit again. So yeah, I've never really noticed anything bad about that negative anyway, but I suppose because I'm doing pretty well, like you have to search for like the next negative thing to focus on, but like, yeah, things are going pretty well in this save so far. So I think we will get into the match now. Uh, but yeah, it's like I said, I'm really happy uh, with the start and I've really been big about going on cup runs and everything like that. And here, like, I, oh, I can't remember the last time I would have got 18k, uh, like in my first season in lower league management. I don't think I've gone this far in the FA Cup. Maybe a bit lucky with the draws as well. Ooh, they've got some injuries. So, yeah, well, not injuries, the players that aren't 
aren't 100% fit. Oh, yeah, like, you're supposed to return to just training, your full training in two days. So I will hard tackle, like, you, you may notice, yeah, like last time, uh, because it's a higher chance, like it increases your chance or increases the chance of their players. And if this Kingston guy comes on or Kington uh, comes on, it just increases your chance of winning the game. Like, it, well, increase the chance of, yeah, those players having a lower fitness or getting forced off or getting injured again. So you may as well do it. Unless <laughs> the only bad thing, I suppose, is picking up cards. But here we're going to say, come on, lads, show me what you can do and keep our run going. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll be content with that. Usually I do the positional uh, talk, just the managers there shaking hands. Hopefully a good game here. And yeah, we don't have too many players missing real well, in terms of like injuries and suspensions. So with and if you want to talk about the fitness of the players like yeah like my team is a fit team considering we're not a professional we're just semi-professional so i think i'm doing an all right job of keeping the better players in the team at least fit uh playing most games i don't rotate the starting 11 too much but you know this team is getting it done and here we go tapi that's his 15th goal of the season and yeah, the striker partnerships, I do like our other two strikers, you may notice they have lower condition, but that's to be expected because yeah, these two guys, Marks as well, he's that, he just jumped to make sure he got himself to it, used his body well when he was in the air and then Tarpy was able to put it home. They're a really good partnership right now. Sean Marks and Dave Tarpy, he's getting the job done. Al Bangura gets injured. See, there you go. Was he one of the players I hard tackled? May have not been. <laughs> and Karl Marx, look at that. Then they're not fit enough. If you're gonna talk a team about they're not fit, their conditioning is not good enough. <laughs> talk about them. They got two injuries already. Okay, Richards, Gallagher, Inman. Come on, Marx again. See, <laughs> look at all the knocks they have. They have no chance in this game, surely, because of that. Okay. And also with fitness coaches as well. I'm really happy with the fitness coach I have. He is doing a good job for the team. Okay. It's just, yeah, we're waiting for attack. Here it is. Tarpy, could he score again? No. Look, now this, that's three. And they're like all in defense. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, really good opportunity for us to win here. And get that, yeah, much needed yeah, cut money. Uh, I'm still going to say assertively, guard against complacency. To me, see, this is my opinion. And if you don't do this, I don't think that's wrong at all. But this is what I do, what I think is the best. You guard against complacency when you're only winning by one nil or just in general, winning by just one goal. Probably especially if you've already conceded, like it's 2-1 or something, you've already conceded in the game. Tarpy, we could score another but yeah, that's what I mean. That's just like a thing I do, uh, but I could suggest that. And if you don't choose to do that yourself, you have another option. That's Yeah, that's what I mean. Football manager is like, there's no wrong things you can do. Well, maybe, uh, maybe a couple, maybe a handful of things. But again, that's why managers have different formations in real life, sign different players compared to other uh, managers, play different ways. That's because it's like opinion to... Oh my God. <laughs> but sometimes, yeah, maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. But logically, that sounds like the best thing you should say. Just, yeah, guard against complacency, focus and don't concede a goal. Uh, but yeah, it makes me look a bit silly because we concede <laughs> almost instantly. But yeah, on paper, that seems like the best thing you should say in a team talk when you're just winning by the goal. But mm, yeah, interesting. Now we'll analyze, and also, of course, the condition, actual condition, the physical condition of the players is is always good. It's like above 95 most of the time for most players, so they are fairly fit. We're going to make a, a change, though, Ryan Peters, and we're actually going to change the fullbacks to well, wingback role on support. I just want to change that up a little bit. I think we are the better team here. I just want to see a bit more provided um, out wide. And yeah, then get forward a bit more. Because uh, like I said, we are the better team. We beat them last time 1-0. So they've already bettered that, I suppose, scoring against us this time. Um, you can take a look. And think about like, Tom Beatty's. He could potentially come on and we'll take off... We're going to take off Forbes. And then we'll switch it up there. And then we'll put Mully, advanced playmaker, on attack. His best role in duty for me. 
And yeah, hopefully, like that looks like good ratings of the players and everything like that. Uh, they're all suit abilities. And don't forget, James Muller looks a bit low, but he's still natural there. He's natural in that position. But yeah, he's probably more natural, I suppose, out wide. But hopefully, yeah, I'll, I'll just say, yeah, that second option there, assertive. They're just deep in thought. And oh, I would have liked to play against Bar City. Uh, but if this ends up being a draw, I'll probably yeah only be able to play one. So, oh no. Well, <laughs> oh my God. So many different things are running through my head there. Like if they could have scored or yeah, who knows. Because then there'll only be like 15 minutes left. Oh, come on. Pressure them. Come on. And we've got obviously our other goalkeepers come back now. Ma oh no. 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 Oh my God. I have to change something. I'm not sure what, but I have to change something. See, I, I don't want it to go to a, a replay because I want to do that in I want to win it. I, I want to win this game late. Uh, can you be more expressive? Yeah, man. I want to win this game. I want to get a goal last 15 minutes. Come on. Uh, to be fair, though, arguably they've been the better team. Possession's been about the same, but they've had well, a little bit more shots. Oh, who could be a winner? Let's take off Sean Marks and bring on... Yeah, we'll bring on Latif Aliu. So, yeah, he would have played, yeah, one game recently. He's, he's gone up to 70... I bring him off the bench sometimes, actually. So, that's another way he can get the sharpness. But, oh, yeah, come on. Maybe we'll need a team talk as well. Oh, I'll go demand more. That's probably, like, the one I've said when I've needed a goal... That's what I've gotten most goals from, like, in the last couple of years. So, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, let's score now. <laughs> so, like, nervous at the end of the game. If they score, that's going to... Oh, no. Come on. Ash. Oh, good save, Andrews. <laughs> but, to be fair, they look like the better team. We are the managers. <laughs> so, I was just reading that. Oh, grub. It's weird. I kind of like the crowds in lower leagues because there's not as many, but you can kind of see them a bit more. It's not like packed. Okay, Hume. Tarpy, what are you doing? I can't believe we're not going to win this game in 90 minutes. Nah, the reverse psychology doesn't work there. So there we go, full-time whistle. Uh, it's a bit disappointing that we, we couldn't win. And it's, it's at home as well, so... We're not good enough today. I thought we were prepped for that game. Yeah, but we just... Uh, we didn't show up. But maybe there were signs. Like our last couple ga games only drawing. So, yeah, a bit disappointing there. That Yeah, we didn't advance. But at least we got uh, some money for that. Like playing at home, obviously. Um, in the cup. And... Oh, we are going to play... Oh, okay. Maybe I'm forced to do three games in the episode now. <laughs> I will play the Bar City game. Because last time, the game was scheduled, like, immediately next. Like, just four days later. So, yeah, I guess we're going to go with three games in this episode. And now we have the draw for the second round. So, that's going to maybe increase the importance of winning that FA Cup game, uh, the replay. Let's just see what is... It should be, like, around 20... Yeah, the 27k the winner prize money, but yeah, like there's, there's going to be some chance it'll be a team we can beat, but it may be a little chance. It could be against a hard team. Draw all teams. Come on. Oh my God. It's yes. That's going to be against Gosport or Truro. Whew, we're getting a bit lucky. As you can see, there's quite a number of league one and league two teams and we actually escape that. And they're both in this league. So we can just, it's Gosport or Truro. And we're at Gosport, 5th, and Truro, 15th. Well, any team in this league, I like to think we should be able to beat. Well, we've got Bar City next, Tony Lee. We've got to watch out for this guy. He doesn't look absolutely amazing. He's not too bad. He's smashing in the goals, though. But again, that's another one. It's it's a, a very much a chance to win. If you get drawn against League 1, League 2 team, you almost, yeah, put it down as a loss. You're going to get knocked out. But again, more money available. That could be really good for us in the early days. And guys, quickly, just to show you the under-23s, 
to confirm i did show you i have them selected but yeah all those guys uh, you would want to know it even indicates there the green senior squad member um, yeah they played a part there so they are getting some match fitness so now we will be getting into that bath city game who it's it's a big occasion for me because i did two bath city saves so yeah for two years i kind of managed that team it's an interesting feeling uh, but again it's about a week later so conditions not too bad and even for the reserves guys like yeah the reserve players here not in the subs they're not too bad in terms of their condition but unfortunately uh, we have to drop a couple out so one strike I think Alfred Aliu will make I don't mind Jordan Cox though I think he's all right not bad attributes but yeah I just see only one if we're gonna have only five on the bench I think uh, one striker only needed and yeah because Harry Andrews is back Kieran Drake he can just go to the under 23s because, yeah, I think people don't like you to have like such a big squad. I think that's why you might just suggest putting some of these players in the reserve so you don't use too much. Maybe one of them, maybe one, maybe I could just put Ryan Upward in there because, yeah, him and Kieran Wilt Shear, they're about similar. They're similar players, just central midfielders, similar attributes, younger players, only like two star rating. So, we are going to head into this game uh, with this starting 11 right here. Strong team. Uh, we should be able to beat Bath. Uh, they can be good on their day. They do have a goal scorer, a guy that can score, as I showed you before. So, yeah, they're just going with the 4-4-2. Uh, very similar lineups. Ooh, and the first time... I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Tony Lee to get tight marked. Uh, Breeder Hangerland to suggest that. Uh, because he's got the most goals in the league. I already showed you. He's a dangerous player, so we have to be mindful of him. This time, we're going to say, I expect nothing but a win from this match. But we are going to initially say, or go along with that, and additionally, I think, yeah, additionally <laughs> was what I wanted to say there. Additionally, add some, okay, they're not looking very good. Only one, well, not bad reactions, just, yeah, kind of neutral uh, opposed to the one looking happy. So this is a massive game for us because recently, well, last three games, you can say at least, that the form has been dipping maybe just a little bit. So we have to be mindful. And Ari Pritchard <laughs> giving away early foul. Just, yeah, it, it's not card worthy, just that early foul. Just to know, yeah, this is not going to be an easy game, Bath. We're going to be at the top of our game. Well, I'm hoping we're going to be and would like to see one of our dominant performances. Comley, good interception. Let's start it early here. Come on, Marks. Marley, he goes back. It's Cotton with the long ball. It might work out here, not conventional. Okay. Uh, oh, Dan Ball winning it back. Oh, remember all the times he did well for us in defense. Making challenges. Oh, almost scoring there as well we did. Good chance. Good chance. Exactly what I wanted there. Early... Close chance, almost scoring to show, yeah, this is not going to be an easy game. It's going to be tough. Comley, we're going to have chance after chance. Comley, oh, come on. Oh, Frankie Artis as well. I remember him. Okay, Marks, Forbes. Okay, this is not too bad. Pritchard, Marks, Forbes, Comley. <laughs> we're just waiting for that. Now, that's Morgan with a good ball. It's Lee, the guy we have to be careful for. Oh, he doesn't... That wasn't that good. <laughs> I expected much more. I thought he was going to score. Okay, Cotton. He's going to whip it in. He's going to whip it in. And it doesn't find the back of the nets. And now we have... Oh, Hunter. Is that the fucking Alex Hunter from FIFA? <laughs> He's come in a different game here. Oh... <laughs> it almost looks like him as well. Uh, okay, but Wasp, you got to be closer. I can only have the setting so much as like when you set your yeah, free kicks up. How many free kicks are we giving away though? Oh no, 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 no. We don't look good here. We we look very shaky when we're defending these set pieces. Saying we're defending them, uh, yeah, that's not giving them credit at all. Like, we're not defending them at all. It's very, very shaky, 100%. Now, Marks, come on. Tarpy. Oh, my God. What is happening today? Bar City is just too good for us, it appears. 
Uh, and also, there's something I want to show as well. Despite we've been doing really well, there's still some areas of our game that is not even fluid. The tactic is not even 100% yet. So there's only room for improvement. That is scary. Uh, but I would like to see that room for improvement. The improvement happen right now because, uh, yeah, that's not happening. It appears. So I'm going to go, come on, lads, show a bit of desire. Come, come on, man. Uh, let's think... Maybe we'll just go for a little bit. We'll go lower tempo. We'll try and control the game. Try and control, and we'll go a bit shorter passing. And, yeah, work the ball into the box. So we'll change. Just change that for a little bit. Just try and yeah, short pass. See if that can change it up. Sometimes you have to change up your style of game. Those are basically... There's like two styles. There's other styles, but two bigger ones. Like that short passing game or the more direct game. And now let's see. Let's even get a goal back. Tarpy. Cotton whips it in. Come come on. Come on. How wasn't that a goal? That had to be a goal. <laughs> oh, wow. Cotton. Obviously, in a, a stage where we, like, it appears we need a goal for a victory. Uh, Marks. Sorry, you're coming off. Latif Aliou. Well, Alfred Aliou. Uh, defensive forward. That's his best duty. So, we'll use him there. And then I guess we have to bring on Tom Beatties. Uh, we'll go Forbes again, that change, and put Mully. He's slightly better. Well, he has a duty that would be slightly better than Taylor Tom Beatties. So, yeah, I'd like to see that change. Is there anything else we could make a change? Uh, I don't want to try and retain possession. That tell, like, Yeah, that tells me we'll waste time. I still want to just yeah go a lower tempo, though. Yeah, play a bit slow, but be patient and not wait. But I still want to be more expressive, okay? We'll see. We'll see if it works. Either way, we'll end up making these changes. Your ability to make a difference. Taylor Tombides again, looking for you to make difference. He comes on. He's happy. So, oh, what's going to happen here? Don't tell me they're going to create something. No. Okay. Twenty minutes remain. Okay. Again, so many times it happens. I want to go to team talk, and then that comes. Come on. Come on. How wasn't that a goal? Wow. We'll go passionately and demand more. But the time, <laughs> yeah, it's like 10 minutes in game. We're going to lose here. It's very rare we've lost a game this season. Normally, I've been in this situation, but we'd get a late goal. But here, it looks like Bar City is going to beat us. So, uh, credit to them. They played well, and we're dipping in form. Unfortunately, you were not good enough tonight. It's all good. Yeah, getting motivated. Um, hopefully, this is... Lucky we started really, really well. So, um, with as many games as you play in this division... It's not surprising that there'll be a certain period of the season, even if you're a good team like we are. Yeah, yeah a bit a slumping in the form. But it's not like we're being dominated. It was an even game, pretty much on paper. Possession, we had slightly more. And they had just more shots on target. That's been a problem for us all season, really. I've yeah messed around with some settings. Should I go work the ball into the box or not? I'm not sure if there's other option that kind of correlates with that. But yeah, I don't know. So here we go, another FA Cup replay. Uh, I guess we're getting experience in replays. Even though it's away from home, I like to stand my chances of winning this one because we still beat them, Western Superman. They're, oh, no. The problem is we're going down in form and they're going up in form. Earlier in the season, or a month or so ago, maybe a bit um, later than that or earlier than that, uh, like uh, they were near the bottom. They were almost in the red in terms of, yeah, the bottom three, the relegation zone. So, yeah, that's the scary thing. They're on form right now. So, again, oh, do we think about a change? What's put us into a position that would be an automatic promotion, top of the league? Would this, oh, I don't know. Maybe a team meeting. I've got to be careful with this, though. I'll say we've been doing okay lately, but I know we can do a lot better. Oh, fuck off, man. I actually think we've been playing... I, I wasn't sure because as a, as a whole, we've been doing well as a season. I thought they'll be scared that I'm not... That's why I don't do... Nah. I don't care. I'm just going to go submit the team. If I don't finish the... To okay, it's gone down. So that pro probably goes down as a mistake. But fuck, what do you... Like... I, I'm not going to praise... What do I do? That's... I don't like doing team me team meetings. It's just annoying. Because sometimes... 
I don't get it. Because I don't think we've been doing bad or good in the last few games. I would say it's been okay. That's been the best way to describe it. So, I don't know. I don't really know. Anyway, sorry I got mad about that. But, yeah, just, yeah. Break us out of this bad run. It was a good run a handful of (laughs) games ago. Is this a bad run? The last four games, three draws and a loss. It, it's not... That's just four games. That doesn't qualify to be a run yet. Man, some things in Football Manager piss me off. I swear. <laughs> oh, come on. And it will just make me even more mad if we don't end up winning this. Come on. An early goal to shut him up. Oh, but they've got it. Smith. Smith. Nah. Oh, Andrews. Uh, it's early. I don't have a good feeling. I really don't. I'm going to go to standard. I'm going to go to standard. Maybe because we aren't playing our best. Maybe less attacking, especially away from home against a team that's on form right now. Oh, grub. Grub. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it's funny how form impacts results almost to extreme level. It's crazy. If this game was two months ago, uh, we'll be just cruising. Like I said, like last time we beat them, well, I say cruising, we won 1-0 at home, but yeah, suddenly, uh, turn of events. Matthew George, oh my God, why are we playing crap suddenly when we need, this is when we need the money. This is when we need, uh, we're not going to win. You can tell. You can tell it's just uninspired and the stupid team meeting bullshit. Fuck, that's so dumb, man. Why did I even decide to do that? I'm going to go high defensive line and go attacking. i rather risk it. Uh, go route one. Yeah, uh, Don't even know, man. I can't believe we're playing this badly. What the hell? I expect to see much better. At least they're motivated. Every single player. Okay, just to focus on what happened. The reaction there. That's that's perfect. Uh, either players are either fired up or motivated. You've got to show that in the game now. <laughs> Come on, show it. Show the motivation. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be the motivation? Showed a lot of a motivation there. We want it back. Okay, that's a bit better. Tarpy, Tarpy. Where's the motivation in that shot? <laughs> Cotton. Is that dangerous? It goes close and we do score. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. So there's a real chance we're going to end up winning this game. The first half was terrible, but maybe we'll turn around. That will give us a bit more confidence. So there, uh, Cotton whipped it in. So you need an Australian player to get a good ball in. And Inman, easy goal there. So hopefully that gives us something. Sorry if I was just in yeah, a weird mood because of that. Just when frustrating things <laughs> come after each other. That's really annoying okay I don't know if we should make a change or not because could go into extra time and having substitutions up our sleeves late could be beneficial for us but team talk passionately let's say concentrate we'll go live yeah come on 25 minutes left So, Sakani Simpson, I remember him as well. Can we find that? We haven't... Maybe we'll make one sub. Because, yeah, this is still fairly late. The morale. It's crazy how much you can change. Oh, Tarpy. What do I do? I gotta, I'm got. i going to keep the faith in Tarpy. Marks will take off and we'll bring on Cox. Ah, uh, come on, big Cox. What are you going to do? Yeah, just go as a target man. Come on. I'm still, my mood for this game is really weird. It's like almost I'm still expecting to lose it when we've equalized. So, yeah, we're, we're on even terms right now. And it's been an even game. Oh, no, no, no. See, that's when I know it's going to be a goal. Oh, thank you for the offside. Thank you. Because I knew that was going to be a goal. I knew that, or at least that was going to go into the back of the net. I just knew for the position, it's just knowing the game. But luckily, he was offside. Or was that other guy offside? Oh, I'm not going to worry about it either way. 
Okay, team talk. Come on. Constant, I don't know if concentrate is the right thing to say, but according to the ratings, our defense hasn't been bad. Maybe we'll make, this is when we make the subs and just like a couple minutes late in the game. Maybe we'll just, yeah, change of both strikers. So Alfred Aliu. Um, I'm going to try something here. What we're going to do is Jordan Cox, we're just going to switch the striker positions and then he's going to go defensive forward and Jordan Cox advance forward. Now I just got to try and think about uh, the instructions. We're already on route one, so, but I'll go back to more direct passing now because um, we're on equal turn. Shoot on sight. Hmm, I'm actually going to try that even though our issue is uh, getting a lot of shots off target, but I feel as though we don't want to pass around too much, because that ties in kind of with more direct passing, and defensive line will go back to normal, interesting, 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 Whew. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if we'll be a better, ch I say a better chance in penalties, but penalties is a lottery, just saying that in case we lose in pens, <laughs> come on, can we steal it, oh, come on, no, because I was thinking about going back on standard. I wasn't sure. Should we just go for the win now or or try and score now? Come on. Win it back, Forbes. He does. Comley. This should be a goal. This should... Oh, mm, my God. Tarpy. What's he done? The last four games just... Well, especially games in this episode. So here's Grub. Forbes. Okay. We're doing well late in the game here. We could steal an injury time. We could steal an injury time. Oh my god, how many chances? How many chances do we need right now? So yeah, we made those changes. And that didn't obviously do anything. But it was very late. So I'm just going to say I'm not happy with the performance. Looking stress. Okay, Perry. Uh, he's done alright. There's a lot more to come from you. Okay. We've still got players fired up and motivated. Okay, just reviewing on that, I said, yeah, like, the reactions from the halftime team talk. I did I did notice that. So I'm glad that was the case. And we'll make the final sub. Uh, Taylor Tombidis. See, the question is, he's probably the best player to bring on, but his penalty taking is poor. We just compared to the rest. Another penalty taking three, Ryan Peters. He's got a six... Then Alan Massey is a is a seven. So, oh, no, I've got to go with my guns. I, I want to win it in normal time. But we'll take off Forbes. And what's his pen taking like? Oh, it's eight. But, nah, i got to I got to go with my guns thinking. And that will allow we bring Mully in a role I've liked him in. Oh, come on. Anything else we should change? Maybe be more expressive. Maybe run from positions a little bit. Uh, run at the defense. And for the wingers, uh, we'll go on tack duty. We're the team. We're playing away from home and we're looking for it. So also, yeah, the fullbacks, we'll just put them on, f ooh, yeah, fullback support. Playing fullbacks in the fullback role makes sense, doesn't it? So <laughs> we'll just confirm those changes. Tom Beattie, there's a lot more to come from you. Ooh, it's going to be crazy if it's going to be Penzo. It really will be. I hope it's not. I hope we can just score before that, but there's rarely ever chances. Most of the time, there's just like one highlight, and it's this one, the one at the start of the second half of extra time, I suppose you can say, but yeah, nothing comes of it. So most of the time, extra time leads to penalties in Football Manager, in my experience, but maybe this could be one of the highlights. Maybe this could be this goal that could potentially even be for them. Please don't. Now I'd rather penalties. Come on. Comley. Tom Beatties. Come on. Alfred Aliou. Alfred Aliou. Uh, he scores. Uh, pretty happy there. <laughs> Get too excited. Uh, depends on the situation, but you would think this would be a big situation. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Alfred Aliou. Just take a look at the replay. Yeah, um, solid finish. Pause. I'll try to pause that as quickly as I can. So we'll go to standard and any instructions to go back. We'll just, uh, we'll put on mix actually. Uh, tempo will go back to normal and we'll kind of sit slightly deep. I think this would be suitable to have it on a counter actually. And we'll be more disciplined now. 
Uh, yeah. I think that sounds right. Take run defense off. You got occasionally for time wasting. That's a default for counter. So we'll leave it like that. And there we go. We just hold on last minute. Last minute. This was a crazy game. Don't tell me they're going to cons... <laughs> Come on, Cox. Finish it. You can't miss. You can't miss. You can't miss. You can miss. <laughs> oh, he was just... For a second, he seemed like he was free with no near him at all. And he could have just ran in and, yeah, scored past the goalkeeper. But, yeah, then suddenly <laughs> there was the defender there. Now it's led. Oh, uh, how did we come back? I'm still not pleased with the performance. Oh, I'm happy because we were able to come back. That was a great comeback. So at least that's good. Gets the morale back up. Uh, recovers from that poor team meeting. And I suppose you could say we were very, very slightly better. We had eight shots on target to six. So we had a yeah, couple more shots and clear-cut chances. Yeah, this is the most important kind of stat to me. Clear-cut chances. These are like clear chances. We had four and they had zero. Despite all the chances they did have, none of them were really that good. So, yeah, that's probably the best indication. Also, the average rating. We had a better average rating. So, you can kind of tell we're a better team as a whole. So, phew. <laughs> that that goal is worth a lot of money for us. And there you go. We get the 18K. Like I said, worth 18K around the mark anyway. We'll see the current balance. Uh, Wasma, he's been good. He actually scored two goals in one recent game. If we go to the form, yeah, he scored two goals in that game there. It was massive for us. You don't expect that as a defender, but yeah, overall balance. Okay, it's pretty much it. Yeah, 18K. So you can see that. Uh, yeah, the FA Trophy, I will play that one off camera. So the rules, you can say 4K. We should be expected to win that. The next game, it's it's Gosport. It's got who's, teams who's seventh. So it's just like another game in this league. And then the money potentially for that, it's 27K. We can kind of have a bit of breathing space with our overall balance. And we could get out of the... We'll, we'll have profit for the actual season. <laughs> unless we lose a lot before then but we have a run of home games in a row as well so yeah that is good for us so yeah poor pretty intense a uh, pretty intense episode especially for that last game oh yeah a lot of things went against me but that's why we kind of yeah fought for that result and to advance in the fa cup <laughs> if you enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on the video yeah subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll see you guys next time